Hey guys, what's up? So Toby showing you how to live stream on your iOS device running iOS 11.0 and above. So this is pretty cool, guys. I'm not gonna lie because you guys can live stream on your device without the need of a computer, without the need of a jailbreak, straight from an app inside the app store. And it's called every chord. So you guys probably know every chord is a screen recorder. They used to make um they had iRack, which was like back in iOS 8 and 7 and 9. And they have, you know, then they made their own screen recorder every chord, which is for iOS 10. And now for iOS 11, they actually have an app inside the app store. That allows you to screen record, which you don't really need since Apple has an official screen recorder. But the feature I use on it that I love, it gives you the, the ability to broadcast and live stream on YouTube and Twitch and all those other ones. Yeah, YouTube, Twitch, and more. I use it obviously just for YouTube. And if you have a Twitch account, use that for two. So unfortunately, it supports iOS 11 and later. And does work on iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. I have iPhone 5C that's on 10.3.3. It's the latest version to get up to, and it cannot support this, which I'm a little pissed off about. But luckily, I had this my iPhone SE on 11.2. On iOS 11.2.1, which supports this. So I have this down link down in the description, guys. Once you guys download it, you just want to tap on open. It's extremely simple, guys. You just be prompt basically to this screen right here, and it just basically shows you how to live stream on YouTube with the put in, which I'll be showing you guys right here how to do it. You just, just want to tap on done. So you basically hit record. So you actually can pull up your control center and then hold on to record. And you can just tap on start broadcasting and you make sure your mic audio is on or off, depending if you want to hear your voice or not. And tap on start broadcasting, you guys see screen record, which like I said, there's literally a screen recorder right here for um Apple devices that Apple built in. So you don't really need that feature. But the, for the broadcast one, is yes, you want to go to broadcast. You have two features, RTMP and the stream key. So you actually would need to bring up YouTube on a um, desktop page and actually go over to your live stream and feature. So actually what you guys want to do is, I'm going to show you right here. All right, so what you guys want to do is actually go to your YouTube channel on a desktop and actually go over to the thing on the top right, tap on it. And then you guys will go to Creator Studio, which I'm not going to show you guys my emails there or whatever. So once you guys are Creator Studio, it actually bring you here. And on the side, you actually want to go over to Live Streaming. And it's, just, it's really slow. And when you guys scroll down, you guys will actually see the server URL and below it is actually your stream key. And you guys want to type on Reveal and then put those two codes in for every chord, which I'm covering with my finger. That's where you actually find it. So you want to type in the RTMP dash that i mean semicolon and dash dash and put in that whole code and for the stream key when we reveal it and keep putting the code in it's like four eight twelve six it's like 16 letters you want to make sure you put the dashes in between every four letters and then once you guys put those information in you leave it just like this because if you go back to record when the information's in it will actually information delete your information here so you have to be like re-put everything in and it's kind of like annoying so what i prefer you guys do is actually go to your notes put in the server url and stream key stream name dash key into your notes so you can just copy and paste it if you do it by accident and it's just a lot easier instead of going to youtube so once i mean like you have to, to go to youtube you get it the first time but then you know once you put it in your notes you have it basically forever and if you need to live stream again instead of going to youtube you get it right from your notes so i think it's a lot more easier and after you guys do that like put your information in you want to leave it to the screen tap the home button and then scroll up and then just hold on here and tap on broadcast. But the only difference is that instead of it being screen recorded, since you're actually on the broadcasting um, page on every chord, it will actually start live streaming. And you actually can go to where I showed you guys the, the live stream. And for me, it says it's offline, but for you, it will say you're online and it should show your screen, your device. And it's not that bad, guys. It's like only like eight, seven seconds behind. And when I end the stream, it said like right online, it said stream ended. So it was really, really quick with that. So it's not really that far behind at all. It's really um, a couple seconds behind or something like that, so it's not bad. Definitely the best live stream on your iOS device without a computer or jailbreak. So if you guys are in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to get back to you guys and respond. But yeah, guys, peace.